Hi, this is Ashley. Welcome back or to my channel. If you're new here, I am a medical student and I post mostly lifestyle and study related content. It is back to school season and today in this video, I'll be updating on some of the new features of UPDF and how it might be useful, especially if you are a student. If you don't know about UPDF or have seen my previous video on UPDF before, UPDF is a powerful and versatile PDF editing solution for macOS, iOS, iPadOS, PC, and Android users. It is an all-in-one PDF editor that supports encrypt, read, sign, convert, and organize PDFs. What sets UPDF apart is its seamless integration of AI into its software. It is a PDF editor that incorporates AI functionalities to boost user productivity. UPDF AI effortlessly allows users to summarize, explain, rewrite PDFs across all platforms within the app. A new feature UPDF developed is its online version of UPDF AI to use on any device anywhere without the need of installing the app. I'm now going to be in my right corner again and I'll be demonstrating some of UPDF Online's features. So first, this is UPDF AI's website and you can log into your account or ask anything directly already. If you're a student needing to use the library computer, you can simply access UPDF AI online without needing to install the app. This can be very useful as you can access all of your previous interactions with UPDF AI just on its online version. The online version almost has the same exact features as the UPDF app. You can chat with AI for any questions you have, summarize, explain, or rewrite all of your PDFs. So I might ask them, I can simply just use the prompt and add any words I want without asking like, can you explain something for me? I'm just going to use the um, translate feature and I'm going to be like, hi, my name is Ashley and I want it to translate to um, Spanish. Let's do Spanish. And so this is its translated version into Spanish. There is also a special feature on making mind maps. Um, this might not be the best thing to generate it into a mind map. We'll just try it out. Page um, two, let's do page one and two. So here you can see that it's generating everything into a mind map. Well, it generated it in Spanish as well. Oh, right, because my output was in Spanish. I'm going to change it to English and tell it to generate the mind map again, page one and two. This might not be the best document for doing a mind map because I feel like usually for mind maps, I would use it for pharmacology. I don't think I would typically use mind maps for everything, but this is pretty decent. If it was notes for let's say pharmacology it would probably be really good and this looks very well formatted directly process images with updf ai online by simply uploading an image and ask any questions about it updf ai will be able to tell you the answer upload images with your mobile device you can use it to scan summarize translate or anything with the pictures you took with your mobile camera this feature is good for these cases translate real signs or any text or take photos with it directly. Two, explain words on medical topics or any other areas. Three, identify text in image OCR. If you have any photos of any documents or any text, any signed signatures or handwritten notes, these can be converted to text by UPDF. UPDF can also be used in educational tutoring. You can take photos of any questions you have or homework and UPDF can explain it for you. This can also be useful in academic papers where you're reading research papers or an article and you have certain questions that you are confused about. You can utilize UPDF AI to explain any subject areas you're unfamiliar with. UPDF can help you understand charts, graphs, or any graphical representation within images. You can also upload images with color schemes or patterns for color analysis or colorblind assistance. I'm now actually going to use it on my phone. So UPDF online is a web version and you can also access it on your phone browser. Okay, okay, so this is a photo I took when I was in Netherlands. Everything is in Dutch. The photo is actually a little bit unclear because there's the reflective surface, but 
it pretty much translated everything I think pretty well and it says back check place all the products on the checkout belt do it you can upload any photos or you can use the take a photo use the photo and tell it to translate to Japanese and it does take some time so you can see like the stop here if you are satisfied with the translation you can tell it to stop and so I think this is really nice and you can basically upload any pictures you have to the PDF AI it will translate it for you it's also a PDF editor so you can have the app on your iPad or your Android device and your PC or your laptop there are so many features and countless user cases so you can try them for yourself and you can click the attachment icon to upload any existing photos you have or take a new photo and UPDF is an app so beyond the online version it does have its app in-app functions I can highlight it into different colors and there are different comment, edit, prepare form, redact, organize pages, crop pages, page tools also edit the PDF so if it is a contract and you have any things that you're not satisfied with you can add anything else and that can be saved PDF editors like my like the Apple files one and I like try to redact it with the black pen it doesn't work because when you copy and paste you can kind of still see the text so what you want to do is use an actual PDF editor that can actually redact your pages so no one can actually access the sensitive information because if you use like the files app and you try to copy the text even though you have the black ink over it you can still copy it so if you paste it onto the notes app you can still see whatever you were trying to hide within page tools you can add and remove watermarks so i want this to be slanted and i want it to be bigger and maybe a little bit less opaque everything will be across all of the pages you can also remove it later so it's very convenient you add or remove watermarks on your pdf UPDF also updated a new education page where you can receive discounts as a student to UPDF. There is also an exclusive discount in the links in the description below. Go check it out. Thank you for reaching to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed.